In today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat two man under for a one play touchdown in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is completely designed to help you improve in Madden. I do that through a variety of ways, but one of the ways that I do that is through providing you tips and tricks that you can use that is going to help you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, we're going to jump into a one play touchdown against cover two man, which in my opinion, if you're playing Madden 21, it's the most difficult defense to beat. Now, um, real quick before we do that, if you are new to my channel, you've never been to my channel, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go into my description, jump into my Discord. There's a link that says join my Discord in the description. I want you to click that, set up an account, and you can be in my Discord for 100% free of charge. That's where you can get your questions answered. It's the best way to stay up to date with my content and the things that I'm doing. But we're in the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and the best man beater that you can find, at least in my opinion, for the bread, for the money is the fake screen wide receiver will. This is a very good concept. You want to make sure to run this to the wide side of the field. So we're going to go ahead and flip it here. But this route that Travis Kelsey on is going to be really, really good against man-to-man -man coverage. All you're going to do with this is you're going to take your um, wide receiver Watkins, and I like to drag him. Everything else on the play, I like to leave stock. Now, my first read is Tyree Kill. If he's able to get over the top of the defense, I'm going to throw it to him. But if not, I'm going to throw it to Travis Kelsey. I'm going to go ahead and man align and press. And then I'm going to do some shading to try to make the coverage just a little bit better. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, this route to Calce um, is going to be wide open. It's going to get that little basket catch animation. Now, what you want to do here with this is you want to kind of swerve him outside and in when you make that catch. That's one of the best ways to do it this year. Again, you just want to swerve him to the outside and in when you make the catch. And one of the things I also like to do is if you motion him to the left, you see how it's going to put him on the line of scrimmage. That's going to create a little bit more of a natural pick and rub for him against the uh, defenders. He's going to get over top a little bit better. And you see there, you're going to be able to secure catch that. So what the defense is going to do is they're going to start using that. They're going to start basically telling their safeties to use that. And they're going to pull their user out of the middle of the field. But once they do that, then you've really got them in your hand. And what you'll see here is Tyreek Hill is, because he's got 99 speed, is going to beat the defense right up the top over the scheme. Now, again, one of the things you want to make sure you do, and I don't think I did it there, is you do want to, um, you do want to go ahead and match protect. You want to take Sammy Watkins and put him on a drag. I'm sorry, you want to make sure you put the running back on a blocking route. You don't have to match protect. And then snap of the ball. What you're going to see here is you're just going to get a lot of natural picks and rubs. And you can, present, you can basically rack catch that for an absolute dot over the top against cover two man. And that's consistent against press man and non-man, right? No matter what they do, if you have a really good receiver there, he's going to win there. And a lot of times, I actually throw that for one play touchdowns in, in game. Uh, practice mode defends it a little bit better. But when you're playing the game, you're going to find that this route right here is really going to take you to the promised land. This is going to be a key route this year. It's going to be a key uh, route to be aware of because this really takes the ability for them to just user you out of out of the question. Now, one of the things I also like to do uh, from this, and I'll give you two more. I'll give you one other play real quick that you can use to beat man. It's actually out of the same. Um, it's actually out of the shotgun tray open. And the play is you're going to flip the play. And I'm going to take Tyreek Hill out of there and put Michael Harbin in there just so you can see it without a 99 speed guy. But the play is uh, gun tray open. Again, you want to run this to the wide side of the field with spacing halfback wheel. And I'm just going to go to my dime two man under. And you'll see this. Again, cover two man is probably the hardest uh, defense to get a one play score on, at least this year in my opinion. But again, all you're going to do with Tyreek Hill, same type of concept. You're going to take Travis Kelsey, you're going to put him on a streak. Take Tyree Kill on the outside guy, you're going to put him on a drag. And what you're going to see is this natural pick and rub that is going to occur with McCole Harbin and Tyree Kill's man. He's going to get that outside release. And you're just going to pass lead that to the right or to the to the outside to the left. And you're going to get an absolute dot against cover two. Man, again, it's an unbumpable route, meaning the defense can't bump him. One other thing that you might try doing, actually, is to go ahead and take Tyree Kill. You can put him on a smart routed hitch route if you want to. And what you'll see is this is going to get a little bit better of a, a little bit better of a pick right there. Don't trust. That was a bad pass lead by Mahomes. I apologize for that. But what you'll see is it, again, it's a pass lead to the left. It's a very specific type of pass lead. That pass lead is what's going to allow this to open up here. But just take Tyreek Hill route and smart route it so it goes a little bit deeper. You're going to see it's going to go right in there and pick that route off. 
and you're going to pass lead that to the left. I got to get it a little bit out there. It's really tender throw, and you want to make sure to get the ball out there. Again, you don't want to be looking at this, seeing if it's going to work. You know it's going to work if you get man to man. So as soon as he makes his break to the outside, you're going to pass lead it to the left, click on, and you're going to click. You're going to basically swerve him inside and outside to get that animation. Again, all I'm doing right now is I'm smart routing Tyreek Hill's route. Once I get that read right there, I'm just gonna click on and I'm gonna swerve catch it. Now, one other little trick you can do is if you wait for just a little bit, you're gonna see, I'm gonna be able to give it a really hard outside and up pass lead. And you see there again, I'm gonna get it a little bit deeper. Again, you wanna make sure you run this to the wide side of the field. If you run this to the short side of the field, it will not work. And you also, I think, want to put Travis Kelsey on a streak because it's going to hold that deep blue safety in there just a little, just for that second. And that one second right there, I didn't get a good pass lead. Um, but that one second hold that you're going to get is going to be monumental for your offense. It's going to hold that safety just enough and you're gonna be able to click on Swerve and potentially get it up the sideline for a one play score. Depending on the way they cover their defenses, depending on if they're using that safety or not, you know, those are a lot of things, a lot of factors that are gonna play in. But you see here, and almost, I, I think I forgot to put Travis Kelsey on a streak, but put Travis Kelsey on a streak, trust me on this. You're gonna to wanna to have him on a streak. You got Tra Tyreek Hill on a smart routed hitch route, snap of the ball, you're gonna pass lead that to the left. Ah, pass lead it up. See the, see the subtle difference? See how big of a difference that pass lead is this year? So you really have to really be critically uh, on point here with your pass leads to make this work. But it is a really good cover two man beater. Again, get him outside, pass lead it. You know, you might just go ahead and pass lead it left to play it safe. But if you pass lead it left and up at the right with the right timing on it, you will get a cover two touchdown. It's or a cover two man one play touchdown. It's a very tricky throw. You want to put some time into practice mode on this. But right, he's going to get right over the top of that deep blue. And I'll show you here uh, one more time, and then we'll let you guys go. But guys, this is what Discord members get. These are the kind of tips that are in my eBooks. If you enjoy this tip, again, these are all out of the Arizona Cardinals eBook, which I feel like is the best. But see right here, see how you can get it over the top of the safety if you wait just a little bit. Once he gets to the sideline and bounces, he's literally going to outrun the safety. One other thing you can do is you can take the tight end and you can try. Again, I don't know if this is going to work. This is just a testing of this route. But you can try to smart route him. And again, get it up and over the top. Click on. Not quite there. Not quite there. I don't think we. I don't think we got a good. Um, I don't think we got a good uh, route by the tight end there. So again, you're going to smart route McCole Hardman. Curl your tight end. You can also put him on a hitch and smart route it. But snap of the ball, and you're going to see right there. Get him up. Ah, I threw it a little bit late there. The timing is everything on this on this throw. Again, to me, this is the best cover two man beater in the game. If you can learn how to throw it well, it's going to go a long way. And this is against, in my opinion, a really good dime uh, defense. But snap of the ball, get him out there, get him up and over, and there you see it right there over the top, over the top of that safety. You're going to be able to catch that and and really be able to move. Um, against the defense so that smart round of Tyreek Hill that streak of Travis Kelsey and if you want to you can take McColl or um, or I'm sorry um, but if you want to you can literally just go right there get it over the top click on and you're gonna get that possession either possession or rat catch depending on the situation if worst come to worst guys this is an absolute dot now you'll see here on the backside I didn't even break this down but if they run man-to-man -man on the backside this wheel route to the running back is gonna get outside release and if there's no safety over there obviously there is a safety over there in this situation but you can hit that so one of the things that basically I like to do with this is I like to turn this into four verticals with a hitch tag on the outside so I'm gonna you'll see I'll streak both guys and the hitches will do fine against man to man um, the hitches will do fine against man to man it'll also do really good against off coverage right because this is also a really good cover two beater but you'll see right here, if I do something like this, right, this is basically four verticals with a tag on it. But you'll see against man-to-man -man coverage, the middle of the field is going to open up as well. So you can click on, you can aggressive catch, you can do all of those things. But I hope this video helped you talk a little bit about how to beat cover two man. Some of the principles that you want to make sure you're on the lookout for this year. Again, cover two man is hard to beat, but with the right route combinations, you're going to be able to get it over the top of the defense. And you're going to be able to get some really good plays out of it. Now, again, a lot of this takes really, really good timing on your part. It takes really, really poor 
um, set up on the other guy's part. Again, I'll properly set it up cover two. We'll still, will not give this issue. You'll still be able to complete it. It's just gonna be that outside, outside pattern as you're seeing right there. So again, guys, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my videos. There's another one that's gonna play on the screen here in just a second, and we're gonna talk about how to beat some other defenses. Before I go, I wanna remind you, if you enjoyed this video and you really wanna get better at Madden, you wanna take your next step in becoming a competitive player or just taking your game to the next level and beating your friends, what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want to encourage you to join my Discord server. A link is in the description of this video, and uh, we will see you guys on our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. A link is in our description for that as well. See you tonight.